Hi, everybody. Welcome back. <laughs> Here we are, a new edition of Graveyard Talk. Um, we've been having some fun. And now we're gonna we're gonna take it from here. Uh, anyway, uh, this is a, a band I found, and I'm really glad I did because they're the happiest band in the world. Uh, and uh, and they've got you know they are you know the the feel good summertime movie of the year, as they say. Uh, this is a band called Darkness of Tomorrow. A great name for a band uh, out of Texas. Thank you guys for joining me. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you. Introduce yourselves. Let the world know who you guys are. Yeah, I'm Steven. I'm the drummer. And I am Jeremy, the guitar player. There we go. Guys, thanks so much for joining me. We had a, a little bit of a glitch, but now we're all smooth. It's all good. good so I, I like that. I like that. All right, let's get right into it. And I want to uh, make sure everybody gets to hear about you guys. Um, origin of the band. How did it come about? So, I mean, I'll take a little bit of it. I, don't, I won't take it all from you, Jeremy. I've known this guy probably going 16 years. Oh. Um 16, 17 early, years, something like that. Early, early 2000s? Yeah, early 2000s, we met. 2000s? Um, we didn't start jamming. Uh, I was like more of a drum tech with his other other projects. We started this, I think it's maybe the summer of 2015. Mm -hmm. um, basically, just me and him, just writing riffs and coming over with ideas and had members come and go, you know, people just kind of fall off. And, right. Um, yeah, I think we had our first show the Febu like February 2016, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know dates. He, he keeps on remembering. Yeah, I'm pretty good things. with the dates. That's um, good, because I can't remember yeah. what I did five minutes ago. So it's all good. Yeah, that works perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, yeah. We, we took it up until the end of 2016, and I kind of took a hiatus, kind of mm -hmm. left, uh, did some other stuff, kind of moved out of state. They continued on with another drummer. Mm -hmm. Um, I came back, that drummer left, I guess maybe 2019 ish. Uh, I messaged Jeremy, I think he was on vacation or something. I was like, Hey, would you want to get together and get together and jam? He's like, Sure, there you go. I didn't learn all the songs, but I kind of kind of came in like, Okay, yeah, it's like, Let's go, like, let's do this. And right. basically, that was in the middle of, I guess, a couple months after COVID started. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah, COVID seems to, yeah, really messed a lot of things up. And, you know, some bands it was actually good, but most bands that I talk to and all that. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, give you time to write and come up with ideas and brainstorm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, yeah, it's definitely a good time, yeah, even though yeah. it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I love the name Darkness of Tomorrow. What, what, why that name for the band? The Nazi Moron. You take that one. Did you say Moron? Oh, hi. How are you? Okay. <laughs> Hey, it's an, it's an oxymoron. <laughs> no, it's gonna it's darkness. It's gonna be tomorrow. It's it's a beautiful outlook <laughs> on life. I I love that. You know, it's it's. You, know, you, you, have, you have the band the darkness, which I'm I'm a fan of, mm -hmm. and you just gotta think. Today we're in the daylight. Who's to say what tomorrow's going to be? You know, what I'm saying when you die, that people say, "Oh, you go to the day, you go to the light." But who's to say all this though? Right. It's just the play on words and darkness of tomorrow. It, it I, I, I came up with the idea and I threw it at BJ with Chester Stephen, and mm -hmm. I was like, "What do you think?" And I, I stuck. There you go. It's basically stuck. Yeah. Yeah. It's stuck. Yeah, it's like we talked yesterday. I was talking to another band, and, and uh, for some dumb reason, it's I think it is at least. For me, it's easier to write lyrics than to come up for the name for the band. People, I don't think, realize they think that just the, the name of the band just boop, it, and it happens. But no, no, yeah, it's like I mean, it it can be anything. But mm -hmm. yeah, I, I kind of agree with that, you know, because with the, with the lyrics, it's like okay, so maybe one person's writing the thing, and but but when it's a name, if you've already kind of got like concrete members it's kind of like hey well, you know mm -hmm. uh, yeah. but at the time it was just me and him and yeah just just stuck with it yeah it's tougher yeah. than people think yeah yeah it, 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 me and bj and then mm -hmm. we were looking for a drummer me mm -hmm. and a bass player and then he knew somebody and brought him on in and, and it's been this way since the birth nice i like that yeah I so like basically that. That, that like basically the core for not all the time, but yeah. Mm -hmm. but that's basically where it started at. Yeah. Nice. 
Yeah, because me I, and John, the bass player, when mm -hmm. he took his hiatus and went his own little way for a while, we mm -hmm. kept it running, and we did we did we did some good shows, mm -hmm. but you know what? Yeah. It just it it is what it is, and life moves on. Yeah. Yeah, life seems to be, to really have an enjoyable time throwing things off, throwing monkey wrenches into things. <laughs> like, damn, yes. life. It, you know, it's like we say over here on the East Coast, life, it truly is a four-letter word. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. See how clever we are here in the East Coast? Yeah. 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 Uh, I, I can't, I, and you knew, I, you guys, I'm sure you knew I was going to ask this, but I, damn, I love the image of the band, and I think it's so cool, and I love bands that, I always have liked theatrical bands. I always like bands that kind of give the crowd and the fans a little oomph, a little more than just, here's our record, listen to us, see us, bye. You know? <laughs> and we appreciate that because that's why we do what we're doing. It's Yeah, it's yes. great. And thank, thank you guys. I hate, I, I, hate, I hate to see a show and mm -hmm. you see some badass band members mm -hmm. and it's just like, oh, I got blue jeans and a t-shirt on. Fuck you. Yes, and I'm yes. like, well, yeah. You didn't do nothing though. You just get up there and you jammed on a pra maybe a practice amp. Uh, right, and right, yeah. You blew, you blew my mind away on how good you are, but your show sucked. Mm -hmm. Even yeah. though, even though I get up there and I may not be the best guitar player, but you know what? We're doing what we're doing and we're entertaining you, and people are going to remember yeah. when we leave because they're like, like last night, for example, we were in San Antonio, mm -hmm. and I was telling telling them last night. The guy said, "Man." When y'all got on stage, I was like, okay, okay, what the hell is this? And then the, the introduction started, y'all put y'all's mask on. When y'all turn around, I'm like, oh, oh, not another one of these bands. Uh -oh. He said, but when y'all started playing, I was like, holy shit. That's what you want to hear. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I, I, I love so it. The, the basically, like the, the theatrical kind of part, uh -huh. that kind of originated with germs. Okay. Um, I've always been theatrical. When I came back in, I've had the idea. I've had this scarecrow tattoo on me Ooh. since I was probably 19 or 20. Cool. And um, I just like was searching around. Mm -hmm. I didn't know this until yesterday. We were talking on the way back or on the way back home. They were kind of pitching that idea before I even came up, you know. Yeah. And we, we found like... a mask maker in oh, Canada, okay. mm -hmm. a guy named Cameron, a Grim Stitch Factory. I ordered the first one, and we just went from there. Nice. Yeah, because me, me and Johnny were talking about, like, being different, like, mariachis. We were talking about, let's wear overalls and do, like, hillbillies, like, with hay bales and shit. Mm -hmm. And then when and when he, he came up to us, and he's like, hey, man, let's do this. And me and Johnny looked at each other and went, huh. okay. Because <laughs> we, we were talking about it, but we weren't talking about it with him. And all yeah. of a sudden, okay. he came at us with this. It's like, oh, okay. It there may work. And let's just try it. Yeah. We tried it. And I, 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 I enjoyed the, the blue jean look mm -hmm. of the overalls because it, yes. it gave it more of the hillbilly lookish. But <laughs> you know what? It's it's just the, it's the stage we're in right now. And down the line, who's to say we may be all wearing white ones? We may be all wearing yeah, red I mean, ones. It'll, it'll, it It'll constantly evolve. Uh huh. So you you don't yeah. want to stay static. You want to evolve as time goes on. And, and no, I, I get I get too bored. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll always kind of alternate it, or you know, right. alter it a little bit. Right. But I think the core, you know, with the mask, will maybe stay the same. I would think so. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like the, the mask, and like, it kind of gives that kind of a uh, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre look. That, you know, to it, and I was like. Excellent. Very good. I like that. So I, I don't know if it's been coined, but I always try to say this. I call us we're scarecore. Yeah, I was gonna yes, talk to you about we, that. We're not yeah. we're not like the way I describe our sound to people is kind of like a new metal sound, but mm -hmm. with like more of a modern groove, like a deathcore vocal. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So we're we're not we're not death metal, uh, mm -hmm. but we, we try to get the crowd moving, you know. Which I, I like that a lot. And and yeah, and, but but you guys don't sound like every other band either. You've got your own no. sound. Which yeah, is what I really like. Developed. You gotta realize as a band, mm -hmm. each individual person makes a band. 
And if people are saying, oh, I'm yeah. going to try to be like this, I'm going to try to be like that. No, just be who you are mm-hmm. and do what you yeah. do. Your fan members will create who you are because you may sound like Yngwie Amstein and it's like, okay, I'm a badass guitar player, but mm-hmm. your drummer sucks. Well, that means now your band's going to be not sucking, but you're going to have so a far. different type of vibe between those band yeah. members and you're going to right. create your own style. Right. Yeah, I wholeheartedly agree. Uh, yeah, and, and that's what I like. I mean, it, you're, you you guys are very individualistic, which I like that. I don't, it, you know, it's so easy just to, like we said earlier, it's so easy to make a band that just wears blue jeans and T-shirts and goes up there and plays and that's it, you know? But, yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but still, I, I think people want to be entertained and a lot of people are not putting that effort, you know? Yeah, get the songs, you learn the songs, but push a little more, you know? Right, right. We, we live in a visual world now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and <laughs> that's fine. And that's why I, I love bands like you guys, you know, because, you know, I that's I, when I was a kid, I grew up with a theatrical uh, band back that time. I'll show my age here. But, you know, I grew up watching, you know, uh, uh, Alice Cooper and Kiss and things like that because I love the extra oomph you got from, yeah, from this band, exactly. the theatrics. You Just know? put a little extra time in life. Just put a little extra yeah, I used to do all the makeup, and I do all the makeup, and people are like, "Man, why are you why are you do all that?" I'm like, mm-hmm. "Why not? Why not?" Right, <laughs> see? right attitude. I like that. See, yeah. I love the fact. Yeah, you guys turn it up to eleven, and I like that. That's what you should do in, in a band. And and, and if you're not going to give a hundred percent, then you really shouldn't be doing it. You guys give exactly. well past that that hundred percent, which is amazing. Uh, yeah, first song, yeah, the, yeah. The, yeah. The first time I heard you guys was a song called "Warning," and I was like. Holy shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah. 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 Papa. Papa liked that one. Yeah. I was like, that's that's pretty damn cool. Uh I, I love the, the imagery, the sound of the band. Uh just it's just amazing to me, you know, like that. I, I, I gotta ask though, the, the the first time you guys came out doing that uh, doing this act with the with the makeup and the and the overalls and everything like that, how did the uh, how did the audience take that? I think they're taking it a lot better than what they did when I was just doing makeup. They're they're actually yeah. grabbing they're grabbing it right now. Even mm-hmm. like it's like it's it's just like a it's a night and day different scene because people don't understand it's like what what's going on here? Mm-hmm. They look at it and go, Y'all actually wear all that shit on stage? <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's the reaction you want. I like that. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I, I I do have to ask out of curiosity: Is it uncomfortable to dress like that, or or you know, do you just like become somebody else when you put this all on and go on stage? I know is I it, do. Yeah, do you? <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, I yeah. do. I, I, sometimes I forget where I'm at. It happened last okay. night. You know, mm-hmm. I just like, oh, oh, I'm here. You know, right? See, uh, I've been doing. Yeah, I mean, at doing... first, go ahead. go ahead, bud. Um. I've been doing the makeup stuff for so long with, you know, you you put a makeup on and say, oh, I'm doing this because I'm trying to hide behind the, the, the disguise or whatever. Mm-hmm. I've been doing it for so long that just putting a mask on is, to me, it's just another stage of a, a fade of look. Mm-hmm. I don't look at it as I'm behind something because it's still me. It's still me playing guitar. It's just that it's a theatrical look of somebody else is looking at me differently now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying there's a lot of people out there. They they hide behind something because they feel more comfortable hiding. And I I feel that what we're doing, we're not hiding because we're actually we're showing a different different scene of what something can really be. I like yeah, that's cool. I like that. It it, it is. Uh, it's like an extension of yourselves, which is really cool. Uh, and I like Basically. that. Yeah, you know, so uh, I got to ask because uh, I'm really curious in uh, this this evolution of the band. What were your influences? What what made you go this route? Early wow. influences for me, uh, <laughs> my, like I'm gonna go back a little ways. Uh, was like Rush, you know, growing up. But like my dad was a lot of classic rock. Then I got into the new metal. Um, mm-hmm. I got into the big one of the biggest for me was probably Fear Factory. Oh, they were good. a very huge influence on me. Um, right. I got more into the death metal stuff, deathcore. I love industrial stuff, electronic. I'm, I'm all over the gamut, yeah. you know. Yeah. But the, like for me, the core, the core mm-hmm. of the band is like a, it's like a new metal sound. Yeah. As or groove metal, you know. 
I was going to say, Jer Jeremy, how about you, bud? Uh oh, he's thinking. I can see I, he's pondering. Uh, he's pondering no, here. I'm like, uh oh. I I grew up and when I get in, in high school, I love Marilyn Manson because I like the theatrical look behind it. It's, a, it's that shock value. Yeah. So okay. I, I'm a big fan of people doing that stuff because, like you said, there's not a lot of people that will take the step to try even try because they're they're like, oh, I don't want to be a sellout. It's mm -hmm. like you're not doing a sellout. You're trying to you're trying to grab someone's attention. If you can't grab that attention, why even try? Why do you even do what you're doing? Because yeah. it's like I've heard it. Uh, I, I can't say the the actor's name. He's like when you go out and you do a show, mm -hmm. you're going out. You're you're doing your part. You need to wear at least a, a three piece. You just don't put a t-shirt on with blue jeans. You need right. at least have a vest on. You need at least have your tie on because that becomes that character. You know what I'm saying? If you yeah, see, like, yeah. for a good a good example, you mm -hmm. got Johnny Depp for the Pirates of the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. How many layers of clothes does he wear? True. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like that. And then you look at his another <laughs> uh, this another another example of him again. You uh -huh. look at the the were the Harry Potter, the Alice in Wonderlands, all the characters, they don't just have a regular t-shirt on, they have an image look. Mm -hmm. They have to have this one, this one, all right, they put this one on, and then you get that image going on, and that's, yeah. I can just keep going on and on about this, but... <laughs> yeah, that's okay, it's what we're here for. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, but, yeah I love hearing about it. In my early stages, it was Marilyn Manson that got me on out and about mm -hmm. doing that type of stuff for the, the rock scene. But playing guitar, Kurt Hammett, but that's not the way I play. So you can't say what your influences are in life because mm -hmm. I've learned to play stuff, but I've learned to just be myself. That's cool. I'm, yep. I'm not a solo artist. I'm not going to sit there and try to shred, play a thousand notes. Just mm -hmm. to try to satisfy a musician as in a talented musician. I'm going to sit there now, and the, you know that I've learned how to play guitar, mm -hmm. at what I wanted to learn, right. and I'm going to sit there now to try to entertain you why I play something groovy, or try to play mm -hmm. something real simple and catchy. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, like back in the days, I would sit there all day long swing my hair around nice and then now today <laughs> i can rather just stand there and just nod my head and play a simple a riff right right uh -huh. at least you know it could be like me where i want to swing my hair around but unfortunately there's no hair to swing around so i'm stuck with this you know it's like great that's that's Same. just great yeah <laughs> i love it uh uh when i put this video out and all uh, i i always like to put a video of the band that i interview and all uh warning is going to be the one that i uh, i want to put out there for everyone to awesome. see awesome and, and yeah, that's the latest we recorded warning and re uh, no reason last year mm -hmm. i was actually working in maine for about three weeks oh. three four weeks to take i came back from there we mm -hmm. went and tracked them uh we did the music video for no reason late last year and we just i think in february we shot for warning Mm -hmm. um the song is the lyric content is pretty dark uh but uh, it's weird because you when you combined like the it's it's a catchy song you know it is it's a kind of an older song mm -hmm. um yeah, i think we it's probably wrote that the, wrote. it's one of yeah, the first we, songs i think we wrote that in the first in oh. the first year yeah oh okay yeah it's it's kind of evolved okay. um we went through a phase where we didn't have a vocalist we, you know, we didn't stop. We just kept going, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, we did a video for Bangkok when we came back, you know, with the, with the scarecrow mask. The right. day after, the morning after we shot the video, the guy quit. Are so you we serious? So we just kept going, you know. Wow, really? Yeah, we kept, we just, we're not going to stop, you know. No. Well, I have this momentum and just stop it. Right. Yeah, so we, that's yeah, we the right attitude. And, yeah, yeah that, that's absolutely the right attitude to have. I mean, if, if, if they don't want to be part of the band, okay, see you. We're yeah. going to see. We're exactly. going to keep going. You know, keep and, going. And that's what that's you do. Especially when you grab a mission. Yeah, yeah, just move forward. 
yeah, when you grab a vision like this and all, and, and yeah, you don't let that stop you. It may be a little bump in the road, but no, you, no. You, you persevere and you move on. And 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 that's keep, that's what you're going to do in the music biz, you know. And keep moving along. I, I've I, seen too so many bands where somebody you know drops off, mm -hmm. but a key member yeah. like a vocalist. I get it. Mm -hmm. And it's just like they're done, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Just going. There you what go. other option we have? <laughs> there you go. That's why when I was in bands, I never sang. So if I quit, it really didn't affect a band at all. So it was good. They were like, please go, Bob. Go, 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 oh, go. Man. You know, the bands would hold the door open for me, you know, and come out. Uh, so that, but uh, yeah, and plus you don't want to hear me sing anyway. Uh, so you solo, uh, so you can't hear it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like, yeah, that's what the humor I was grew up, growing up with. My mom says, you should be on stage. There's one leaving in 10 minutes, but a bunch, you know, so, you know, you know so. Uh, so, so what's on the horizon for uh, Darkness of Tomorrow? What do we got going on right now? Right, right, new music. Uh, I'm going to work on some more shows we have lined up, and I got probably about three or four more songs that I've been messing with, and then we've cool. been working a couple of songs that we've had some ideas with. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's it's a, it's a writing stage, and cool. for every song we push out, hopefully we get a video for every single song because. With today's technology, it's like, why not do it? Sure, sure. And, and like you all have yeah, said, we, too, you're a visual band. So I think that's a smart idea. Put a video out oh, for no, a song, the, you know? The the ideas are already swirling about the, you know, the next video. Mm -hmm. um, that it's kind of going to be, like, not super connected to Warning, but the video will be, like, a continuation. Okay. Um, we've already cool. got the location booked. For, for July, we got studio time booked already. We got two more shows, and we take it, you know, like you said, we'll take a four month writing break, mm -hmm. um, you know, get stuff in the chamber and have stuff ready to go for the end of the year and just keep rolling. Nice, nice. Uh, yeah, it's not like the old days where you need to go out and record a whole CD. It's no reason for all that no more. Trill. No, Trill. It, it, it's the attention span, right? It, it's, it's reverted back to the single days. And it is. It really the, has. To me, I that's the smartest way to do it. Absolutely. And unfortunately, the attention span of most people is is not that yeah, long. So you've got to come out and grab them by the, you know, yeah. what's and, 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 and that's what, you know, we, we talk about the other show that I do. I'm always a fan of albums that just grab you, in the, you know, and just yeah. don't let go. Boom, right off the bat. You know, and that's what you've got to do nowadays, because it just doesn't seem like anybody has a long attention span at all. No, now, you know, and it, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> uh, any shows coming up that you can talk about right now? Or, or are we should we say Shh, for right now? No, we have a couple local shows, but basically mm -hmm. we're done doing any kind of, you know, regional touring until the fall time. Okay. Um, yeah. We'll be at 19th Hole Bar and Grill in Spring, Texas on the 29th of April, okay. which is uh, two weeks from now. And we'll yeah. be down in Houston uh, at Ojuman 1810, 1810 Ojuman on May 20th. Okay. And that'll be our, you know, after that'll be our break. Okay. For, until September. Nice, yeah. nice. Uh, that that's cool. Yeah, I you know always like to promote and also you oh, know, awesome. thank you shows. You got to tell me, yeah. So it's yes, like sir. I, I am not a mind reader. I've drank so much beer in my life. I lost that ability to do it. <laughs> I, I've deadened it now. So, oh, uh, you know, I, also, also yeah. we get more attention outside of our own town. Oh, that's sad. That you should yeah. be embraced by your town. <laughs> it's, it's sad. But it's it, it's more fun because it gives right. us a more interest in going out and play because we go places that we've never even played before and it's like, uh -huh. and we're here to see y'all. Cool. Oh, I'm like, like, cool, like, man. Huh? <laughs> it's, it's to me, to me, it's the there. power of, of social media and, and YouTube. Yeah. I think YouTube is a great thing for us, um, because you know everybody can't be everywhere all the time, so. Trill. If they get something, Trill. oh, this is cool. Oh, they're playing here, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got to yeah. reel them in. <laughs> yeah. It's a whole new world out there. I mean, bands I, I, I've seen now, you know, where uh, bands don't even meet in studios anymore. They'll send their yeah. their tracks across the Everything. internet. That's you know, it. It's like, wow, I never thought, you know, I'd see that come. But, yeah, there it is. It's yeah. right there. It's like, wow. That's the new way. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> well, guys, uh, I'm going to have to stop here, unfortunately. Because I could talk to you guys all day. I'm enjoying this way too much. But uh, you awesome. guys have been a blast. And I don't want, I, like I said, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I know you guys are very busy. Uh, Can I but, ask a question? Uh, absolutely, please. How'd you hear about us? I found you on YouTube. 
that's, that's awesome. How, that's how I found you. And, and mm-hmm. I saw, I saw, uh, war- warning was the first uh, video I saw. And then, uh, Bangkok was the second video okay. I saw. And I was like, well, okay, real Bob in, you've got him hooked, <laughs> you know? And, and, uh, yeah. Yeah. So I, I, you know, my, my, you know, my friends that really, really know me know, I just love when a band does that extra oop of, you know, with the stage and, and, and playing live and like that. And I love the way that you guys just, you know, grab people by the nuts and don't let go. And I'm like, beautiful. That's great. You know, basically that's what we do. (laughs) Fantastic. Yeah. I would, I would go into, I want to go into a show speaking like this, but when I leave, I want to be like, okay, that was a really good show. Oh, you know, it's like one of those deals. Like, oh, they still got to go. Yeah. I love that. You know? So yeah. So uh, listen guys. Yeah. Anytime, uh, any, anything going on, let me know. Uh, would love to promote you guys as heavy as I can. Uh, I don't have a ton of reach, but I've got some reach because we're getting bigger and bigger. So yeah. Anytime you guys want to come by and, and yak or whatnot, please do. The door is always open. And, and uh, this has been an absolute pleasure to get to talk to you guys. Oh, and, thank uh, you very much. I'm gonna do yeah, it we again. appreciate it. We yeah, appreciate absolutely. It. Thank you guys. I really do appreciate you all. And thanks everyone for watching. Numbers are continuing to go up and we're actually getting more people on YouTube. What? Okay. I'm just as stunned as everybody else. Okay. Because like I've said thousands of times before, I have no talent whatsoever. So I don't know what the hell's going on. But thanks everybody for watching. I like that shirt. I love that shirt. But yeah, that's beautiful. I love Darkness that. Darkness of shirt. tomorrow. That's right. Darkness this band. Of tomorrow. Check them out. They're all over the place on the internet. Go check them out right now. Go on YouTube. See, when you see the visuals, that's when you're really like, oh, ooh, Bob Total's right again. You know, so it's like, okay. So, guys, thanks again. I really do appreciate you joining me and taking some time out to, to do this. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Have a great evening. Thanks, everybody. Y'all take care. Thanks for watching the show, everyone. We appreciate it. We'll have a new show for you next week. And until then, everyone, take care, keep rocking, and we'll talk to you soon. See ya.